Thanks for joining us. We are talking to Marco Montenovo, Global Solutions Architect, CMS, DVS at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and Joseph Tagliaferro, Managing Director, TNT at PwC. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Now, PwC and HPE have unveiled a new type of TV experience. It's immersive TV and it's a new collaboration. So tell us more about it. What's the concept all about? The idea around immersive TV is giving the user a new experience as they look at content and want to curate content, search on content. And the ability to do that is shifting fast and at fast speeds due to the technology that we've joined with, with HPE, regarding their ability to bring content together with metadata and then distributing that out so the user or the viewer can go ahead and uh, have content viewing in a different way in a different manner. Yeah, what we do basically, traditionally we manage content archives and asset management system. So everything which is uh, the metadata and the provisioning of the content to an end users platform like this one is our core business and it was in the past. So that's what we've done and we've added. So Marco, how would you best describe it? It's a content production platform, isn't it? I would say content production platform is a place where you have, you are collecting your content, your raw materials or your uh, clips uh, from different sources, which are content providers. Then you normalize uh, uh, the metadata and you have a collection of workflows to publish those content to, to different endpoints. Could be editorial endpoints, could be distribution endpoints, could be end users endpoints. From that perspective, we would take that content and, and through technology that we've developed in our vessel, which we're calling an app right now, the viewer will be able to manage that content, look at that content, and create a new experience with that content um, at the time it's delivered to us based on information that we get from the HPE platform. And it will offer a new type of consumer experience, won't it? From a consumer perspective, you've, there's the opportunity to uh, e-commerce, right? They can identify opportunities that they're seeing that might be embedded in the metadata that's coming across. They can purchase things real time. They can identify location information. It curates and it brings a lot of the information associated with the content to the viewer that they can go ahead and manage themselves with the idea it could be prescriptive and made for their use only as opposed to making it a general general case and a general function. Joseph, PwC has released a big survey recently which basically shows that when it comes to content, it's not about demographics anymore. We've done a survey around content distribution, content management, and what came out of the survey are some interesting points. Demographics as it relates to digital content doesn't matter anymore. Whether you're 20 or 60, there seems to be a convergence of how folks want to look at content, consume it, and then deal with it. The other side of it is what we also found is that only 12% of the folks that were interviewed thought that the functionality or the capabilities that are provided them today to search or curate information doesn't exist. So you've got a lot of folks being distracted from what they're watching to go to a second screen and look up a lamp if they're watching something on a fixer upper show type things and it just, they, they, they lose sight of what was originally looking at and then the advertising value that would have been associated with that particular episode gets lost because folks are looking at other things as opposed to focusing on the, the show itself and what, what the show brings as far as advertising. So you have an opportunity to drop the value of the advertising because you've lost the, the focus of the consumer. So how does 5G fit into all this? This is part of a wider audience engagement program that we are having in HP that wants to use the 5G uh, network uh, features uh, actually to create a more immersive uh, experience uh, uh, for, for, for the audience, whatever is the audience. Uh, could be a community of, uh, of people watching a TV show, could be a community of commuters on a train, could be some collaborator to a news uh, program, whatever. So community means also target advertising because you know your community, you know, you know the preferences. So this is actually part of a very wider program where we actually collect even social information from the people that are promoting themselves to be active partners of the community and know them better in order to target better the promotions, information campaigns, you name it. From an end user perspective, a reviewer perspective, the 5G enables the laptop or the phone or the, or the iPad to be connected and take advantage of these capabilities at a higher rate of speed than today. 
to deliver the experience. That I delivered the content because you are in that position that I'm taking out as a, as a position service from the network and the line, as an example. Marco, Joseph, thank you very much. You're welcome.